Welcome back to the cafe. Thank you to the team that came in over the weekend and started hanging up Christmas decorations. I bet a lot of people have done that over the weekend. Very surely, Chef Mark sharing his recipe for a Christmas savoury strudel and will be treated to a live performance from the amazing international singing sensation, Sasha V. Yeah, I'm not convinced about a savoury strudel. Got a bit of convincing to do for me there, but we'll see. Um, our finance guru, Charlotte, is back on the couch for Perpetual Guardian Money Matters and we are talking about budgeting today. Good morning, Charlotte. Good morning. Uh, it is coming up to Christmas, so we're all bracing for the big spending that goes along with it so how can we prepare for it well one would like to have thought that you might have prepared for it a little bit before this week which is oh, obviously so close to Christmas <laughs> yeah. but if you haven't that's fine and life is full of those sort of events and we and for those who haven't been doing a bit of budgeting will probably be feeling a bit of pressure now and well, define prepared for it well <laughs> well so if uh, if money's tight then you want to be very clear about how much you're going to need to spend over Christmas so sh you should have done a little bit of preparation around how much cost you're going to need, okay. working out how many presents you need to buy and how much you want to spend per present. Um, I think one of the other things to be cons to consider, especially if you've got young children, is that often their friends are getting these fabulous presents and if you can't afford to give your children the same expensive presents, then setting some expectations for them around what's not possibly going to be mm. under the tree is never a Set bad thing. Set them too, it's mm. a good thing. Now clearly, Charlotte, they've put me on the couch in perpetual money matters, yeah. perpetual guardian money matters for a reason. Yeah, I'm we not always a very do that, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, so I was thinking, how do you actually work out how much money to spend? Like, you know, is there a calculation you use? Well, so, I mean, everything's going to depend on your budget in terms of how much surplus you have in your cash flow. So the key thing to understand is I've got this many people, mm -hmm. um, I don't want to spend more than this on presents, and so that's going to divide 10 people by whatever and get mm. you get a, a budget per present. And then really try and stick to that. It can be really easy if you're out and about and you go, oh, I'll just get that for the little yeah. ones or I'll just get that for mum. Buying presents ahead of time is you know, often a good idea. And some families actually go, look, you know what, let's do Christmas on Boxing Day. Mm. And then yeah. they do the Boxing Day sales. The Boxing Day sales, of course, aren't uh, what they used to be. Uh, you know, it used to be a big thing in the old days. But now, of course, in the in more recent times, everything's on sale all, all well, the year round. the Boxing round. Day sales, they start like before Christmas anyway. Oh, no. um, I think the thing to do also is if you do those things, oh, I'm just going to buy that for such and such earlier in the year, remember that you've bought it for yeah. such and such and you put <laughs> yeah, it in the don't cupboard. Don't hide it too hard. Yeah, <laughs> because yourself. that has been done yeah, before. That before. Uh, reviewing the budget, how often should we be reviewing it? So your budget for Christmas, I would recommend you review in about June, and then that way you're clear about where your planning is. I mean, for some people, obviously, it's not important. They don't need to worry about it. But for those of us that do, mm. it's always a good idea to have, have a plan so you can be staging your money. Some people do Christmas clubs through um, various different things, including the supermarket and putting some money aside. And obviously, if you start budgeting in June, say for mm. 2017, you're looking forward to Christmas 2017, mm. should you stick to it, or can you adjust it as time goes by. Say you get to August and you might have a little bit of extra money. Is it? Can you adjust it or should you be firm and stick to well, it? Well, it's up to you whether you're going to spend it on Christmas, which obviously is a, a moment in time, or whether you, you might go, actually, I've got some surplus money. I might pay, pay some more off a mortgage or I might increase my insurances or do something that gives you a better financial strategy as okay. well. But don't forget, Christmas is about the enjoyment of the day and about the time. So actually, most for most kids, they're not going to remember the present that, that, that you gave them. They're going to remember the time that they had. We all, if you think about to your own childhoods, mm. you remember the times, you remember the family Christmases. So if you're going to go into Christmas completely stressed out till Christmas Eve and you know the Christmas tree's not even yeah. up, then that's the worst thing you can do. That's a good true. point. Yeah, yeah. You've just got to relax and go with the flow. And you can always make Mark's spice recipe. Oh, there you go. Put it in the little jars. Absolutely. Homemade presents mm -hmm. aren't the business. They are. Uh, thank you, Charlotte. That's really, really good. Some really great advice there, actually. And you can get more great financial advice from the team at Perpetual Guardian or take a look at their website.